I was drawn to Columbia by its commitment to training pastoral leaders. It's amazing to participate in ministry that touches students from around the globe. When I step up on this campus, I feel a sense of what our president talks about, abundance, that there are abundance of resources. I mean, you just feel that. When I came and arrived on this campus, I knew that it was the place where the table is always getting bigger and there's always an extra seat just for you. You could stop three students on campus and ask them why they chose Columbia, what their experience was like before they arrived, and you were going to get vastly different answers. And that is the kingdom of God. That is what the church should be like, is this diversity of voices that are being empowered to share their own ideas about what God is like. I've seen that Columbia has really responded faithfully to that call to be about the work that God is doing in this new age. We've done so in ways that have been really balanced between both being firmly rooted in the gifts of the Reformed tradition and because of those firm roots, we've been able to stretch our branches wide open to be radically welcoming and inclusive of all people, of all the family of faith, we recently finished a new strategic blueprint. That strategic blueprinting process came out of a deep commitment to listening first, really thinking about ways that there are barriers to flourishing that really enact the vision statement, which accentuates our core values that make us who we are. It's one thing to have a more diverse community, but it's another thing to grow in terms of our transcultural, intercultural competencies. So I think Columbia is an understanding that there needs to be scholarship that supports the diversity of our student body being able to come to Columbia Theological Seminary without worrying about the financial burden was the way I was able to say yes. I was able to say yes to God's call in my life, and I know that that story is one of many of my classmates as well. You can tell the Holy Spirit is up to something on campus at Columbia Seminary right now. Our students learn not just from what they see in the classroom, but they learn from the folks that support Columbia Seminary, what radical generosity looks like, what faithful discipleship and stewardship looks like. The future of the church depends on the health of theological education today. The future of the church is dependent on the health of Columbia Theological Seminary. Your support of Columbia Seminary helps our students to see what flourishing really looks like and models to them faith and hope that they will live out in their ministry for years to come.